Well, I think most of us who have been practicing in medicine for the last 20 or 30 years have waited for electronic health records to enter our world and thought that they would make them better and safer and faster and more efficient, just like our iPhone does. And I think most of us have been disappointed by how hard it's been and how bumpy the road has been. And part of our mistake, I think, is that we've, we've had technology for a long time in healthcare. People sometimes say to me, you know, why are doctors such Luddites? And I say, are you crazy? You know, come to the radiology department or come to the surgical uh, suite. We love technology, but we've never done anything like this. Those technologies live in a specialized portion of the building. Only a few physicians and others have to learn how to use it. They're really not trans transformative the way we do our work and the way we interact with one another and the way we think. So we've got to take a step back and ask hard questions about, is it working? Uh, how do you not only make the technology better, but how do you rethink the nature of the work for a digital age? And we just haven't done that hard work yet. It's more that it has ruined my life. Uh, I'm thinking of retiring, but my Roth IRA is not quite big enough yet, but if I could, I would. Uh, there's a lot of that uh, in, you know, in a cocktail party or a coffee house conversation. If you want to see doctors get enraged, ask them about their electronic health records, which of course is remarkable because then ask them about how their technologies change their life in the rest of their life. And they'll mention Uber or Open Table or Amazon or you know, any, essentially in every other walk of life, the technology has made things better and easier and more convenient and in some cases cheaper. And so there's this kind of remarkable disconnect. And I think that it's important to say that not all of this is because the EHRs are particularly bad, although they, they clearly need to be better. But I think it's in large part because we have not thought about this idea of sort of adaptive change and how it's changed the nature of your practice. And that kind of crept up on us. I think it's also because uh, the technology has become an enabler of a lot of bureaucratic silliness that, that physicians feel. So in the old days, if you were a quality measurer or you were an insurer and you said, well, I'd love to, if the doctors could just document these three more things, that would be great. But there's no easy way to make them do that. But now the doctors have a computer, and now you say, well, you know, it's really not that hard. We could just have them document, you know, did, the, did I counsel the patient on smoking cessation? And, uh, you know, do they wear seat belts? And, you know, all this kind of stuff. Now, in, in a vacuum, those are not ridiculous questions. They're perfectly reasonable. The cumulative effect for, for the physician, though, is this huge number of additional questions and additional time that they have to spend documenting, and a lot of it feels tangential to the point. A lot of it, you know, the patient is in for a very specific problem, you want to help them with their problem, and here you are documenting away.